what is it that makes the little Italian-American plumber known as Mario so massively popular among Nintendo fans? I mean, when we see the average plumber, we don't instantly think that the guy's gonna be the hero of the story. No, we think the guy's gonna solve our plumbing issues, but not our Nintendo hero. Mario, though, has made plenty of cameos throughout different games due to his popularity. Subscribe to our channel for even more content on your favorite plumbing hero Mario and all of his Nintendo friends. If you want to keep up with our channel, consider joining our notification squad. LEGO City Undercover LEGO and Mario don't seem to have a lot in common. I guess if we were looking at the 8-bit Mario, it would be pretty easy to build him out of LEGO, but I'm still scratching my head as to why there was a Mario cameo in LEGO City Undercover. The Mario hat in LEGO City Undercover is no small item to unlock, and it also doesn't come cheap, costing 10,000 studs. The hat is pretty easy to secure, and if you're a fan of Mario, it should be even easier since you'll be passionate about gaining the added disguise. Its location is on Lady Liberty Island. To reach the island, you'll have to go downtown to Promenade Gardens and have Rex Fury lift the box in the center of the area. This will drop some Lego pieces that need to be assembled to make a green pipe. Yes, that's right, it should look like a warp pipe from Mario. This will transport you to Lady Liberty Island. Now that you've reached the island, there's a pole with a fuse box below. Climb the pole and walk across to reach Lady Liberty, then continue walking until you reach a teleporter to leave. Use the fireman disguise to put out a fire on Lady Liberty's torch, and then jump or jetpack over to the top of the torch. Ride a zipline down, and you'll gain the red brick on your ride down. Now your Mario and Lego dream should finally be a reality as you sport your stylish red cap throughout the game. McPixel McPixel, an indie game released in 2012, had a huge array of pop culture references, so it's no wonder that Mario had a small cameo in this addicting puzzle game. McPixel is the main character of the game, who has to defuse bombs in 20 seconds or less every level, which becomes increasingly more difficult as the player progresses through the game. Now, one of those levels features a character and a scene that looks vaguely familiar. I'm not saying it's the same bridge that Mario fights Bowser on in Super Mario Bros, but it does look really similar. Instead of Bowser waiting for you though, you'll find a Raphael lookalike from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a few mushrooms around the area, and if you give one to the character that looks like Mario, he'll transform, giving him the ability to be the turtle. The game didn't necessarily violate any licensing rights since there were only minor references to the franchises, so you're free to play the game. Plants vs Zombies Plants vs Zombies doesn't really seem like the type of game that would feature a character like Mario. After all, you're supposed to be fighting off zombies with your super amazing plants. This challenging tower defense game is available on all platforms, and has plenty of pop culture references to things like Monty Python's Dead Parrot sketch and classic zombie films like Dawn of the Dead. As much as Plants vs Zombies loves pop culture, they couldn't leave out one of Nintendo's most classic characters. The Sunshroom design seems to be based off the mushrooms from the Mario series, and the Chomper from the game could be linked to three different things. A Venus flytrap, the piranha plant from the Mario series, or Audrey 2 from the Little Shop of Horrors. And then there's the digger zombie that upon further inspection you'll find seems to have a sense of style similar to our beloved Mario. Who can deny that they both love the color red and look fantastic in a pair of overalls? Rayman Legends If you're looking for an addictive platformer that provides hours of entertainment, but isn't Super Mario Land, then you can stop your search because Rayman Legends is all that and more. The gameplay is the same style as other Rayman games, and the Wii U version also allows you to play with up to four players. Rayman Legends decided to release a special Mario and Luigi skin if you feel like you're missing something. Just put the skin on and prepare for hours of addicting gameplay. The skin is easy to obtain as long as you play 20 minutes non-stop of the game through. Sorry, if you want to play with Yoshi though, you'll have to stick with the classic Mario series to do so. Mega Jump In Mega Jump, the objective of the game is to jump and get past obstacles as you gain height and unlock levels. The various obstacles and objects as you climb higher and higher can either help or hurt the player. Coins can add a boost to make the player go higher and throughout the game, you'll find several power-ups to gain abilities. Mario fans would have had to play Mega Jump during their Movember promotion period. During that time, players could download a mustached version of Redford. His look would change every few days and he would sport different mustaches. From November 11th to the 16th, he was called Super Redford and he was clearly based off Mario, sporting a red hat with the letter R and a Mario-like mustache. The Super in Super Redford was also a nod to the series that may have inspired this addictive mobile game. Spyro, A Hero's Tale Spyro was no stranger to pop culture references, and as you play through the game, you might notice quite a few references to the Mario franchise. You may have noticed that Murgatroyd, the robot NPC found in Red's laboratory, seems somewhat familiar with his red shirt, blue overalls, and red cap with a letter M on it. I don't think it gets more Mario than that. 
As Spyro attempts to activate the ball gadget, you'll also notice the professor mentions something significant about power stars and red coins as he tries to recall the name of a valued collectible. Who knows? It could be possible that Spyro and Mario have always been part of the same universe. Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow If you would have told us that Pokemon resulted from game designer Satoshi Tajiri's childhood hobby of collecting insects, we may not have believed you. There's a television in the copycat's room where the player can see Mario with a bucket on his head. This references the game Mario and Wario, where Mario gets a bucket dropped on his head by Wario. Mario and Wario released in 1990 exclusively in Japan and focuses on guiding Mario through a series of levels consisting of obstacles and traps. Mario's been rendered sightless because of the bucket. The player controls a fairy named Wanda in that game, who protects him by having the ability to constantly change the environment, and the game offers a hundred different levels and three playable characters. The Mario with a bucket on his head probably appears in the Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow games because they were both designed by Satoshi Tajiri and developed by Game Freak. It was just a fun little secret addition, perhaps to pique kids' interest in the Mario series. Minecraft If you've played Minecraft, then you know about the 26 paintings that you can obtain throughout the game. One of these has become a favorite among fans of Nintendo, the paper-looking Donkey Kong painting by Christopher Zetterstrand from the original Donkey Kong arcade game. Minecraft is all about making things out of blocks, so the release of the Super Mario mashup pack was a welcome addition to the game. This downloadable content allows the game to be visually changed so it matches the Mario franchise, although the rest of the game is the exact same. You'll get to play as many of your favorite Nintendo characters with various skins, and the mobs will look familiar as they're often the enemies of Mario like Boo and Thwomp. The game also features several Mario landmarks and jumping challenges that'll give you the Mario series gameplay that you crave in an interactive and creative Minecraft way. World of Warcraft If you didn't lose countless hours of sleep and forget to eat at least one meal, then you did not play World of Warcraft correctly. There were plenty of references to pop culture in the game, but one of our favorites has to be the two brothers that eerily resemble Mario and Luigi. You'll meet two characters by the names of Larian and Muijin in classic World of Warcraft fashion at the top of the guard tower in Marshall's stand in the Angoro Crater territory. What becomes instantly familiar aren't just the red and green outfits that would normally be a reference to the Super Mario Bros. Mario and Luigi, but something more. If you take Larian and Muijin's names and remove the N from the end, and switch the first letters, you'll get the names Mario and Luigi. Maybe next time Mario and Luigi will think twice before they decide to take a shortcut and get lost in the very realistic world of World of Warcraft. Pinball it's probably no secret that Mario appears in the classic NES game Pinball since he is featured on the cover of the game. In Pinball, there's a secret breakout style bonus stage where you'll unlock Mario. You can get to this mode by hitting the ball into a bonus hole. The object here is to rescue Pauline, Mario's girlfriend from Donkey Kong. Fortunately, Princess Peach wasn't in the picture yet. You can save Pauline from Donkey Kong's hairy grips by bouncing the ball off Mario's platform and hitting various targets. This destruction will earn you points. After the blocks under Pauline have disappeared, she'll drop. If you catch Pauline, it earns you bonus points. But if she hits the ground, the player will lose and it'll be game over for the both of you. So, what games do you think Mario should make an appearance in? What do you think it would look like if he was part of a series like Call of Duty? Thanks for watching, and we hope that you enjoyed seeing all the games that Mario's made even better just by being a part of them. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and join us for the best gaming list YouTube has ever seen.